Ida Ice Learning Center, Building Geometry in CAD Import. Geometrical information is normally imported in the beginning of the simulation project by going to the floor plan. The user has the options to either import CAD information or an IFC file. IFC are explained in another tutorial. Here we focus on CAD import. We click on Import CAD. Specify the drawing we want to import. Define where we want to save the file. And that is our CAD drawing. As you can see the CAD file now fit within a building body. The building body specifies the envelope of the building we are about to simulate. On the left hand side you can find information about the size of the building body including the height as well as Z coordinate. This Z coordinate specify the location of the floor of the building body. If the value is negative, part of the building is underground and some of the vertical surfaces will be in connection to the ground. If we want to change the geometry of the building body, we first need to select the building body, then right click on it and select edit. If we want to change the location of the line which represents the facade, we need to hover over the line until the cursor changes to a double arrow and then whilst holding down the left mouse key, drag the line to the new location. It is important that the building body outline lays on the lines that represent the indoor walls in the CAD drawing. All the changes we apply we need to confirm by clicking on Done. We can also change the size of the working area by selecting a corner and then whilst holding down the left mouse key dragging the corner to the new location. As you can see the building body still do not represent the geometry of the building. We therefore go back to edit mode. And first of all, move the lower facade line to a higher location. We now need to include additional vertices into the facade line which we do by hover over the line and create a new vertex on the line with a single left click. The new line segment that has been created can now be moved to a new location and additional lines are automatically included in the building body. We are now adding two more vertices into the facade line. And finally we need to move two vertices to a new location by holding down the control button and dragging the vertex to the proper location. Some final changes in the top of the model. We will put the geometry in line with the actual building and we confirm all the changes. After everything is finished with the definition of the building body, it is good custom to actually lock the building body to prevent any accidental changes. We're clicking on lock and locking the building body and also the imported DWG object. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this video useful. You will find more videos if you go to help and process guides. There is a whole series of videos stored there. Under help, you will also find our getting started guide as a PDF document. Also, never hesitate to contact support or write to our forum for further questions or support. And remember to check out our website. Under events, there, you can find upcoming courses. We frequently host beginners and advanced courses on various topics.